AP poll, a miscarriage of justice, a tragedy, a travesty. Of course, I'm only half joking. Um, we're having, we're going to have some fun with this. We always have fun with the first uh, preseason AP poll that comes out. We're going to go through the poll. I'm going to give you my opinion. Please, in the comments, you give yours. I would love to read them. Episode 9, welcome to College Football's Peek Around the Corner with your host, Greg Flugar. So let's just get into it. Um, there's a lot of surprises in this poll for me, but I actually think the voters did some good things with this poll, like Texas, for example. Um, you saw some SEC bias, in my opinion, but a couple of those SEC teams I would have ranked higher, one of them being Kentucky. Another one being Tennessee, of course, the team I love this year, the team that's going to crush me in the end. And where did my Minnesota Gophers end up? And how did Nebraska get one vote? Unbelievable. Well, let's get to it. Okay, so right off the bat, you see Nebraska with one vote. Others receiving votes. Nebraska gets one vote. Now I like to give my Husker fan, my Husker uh, fan base. Um, we have a great relationship. We give each other elbows on, on Twitter and elsewhere. I love those guys in Lincoln. I love those gals in Lincoln. They think very highly of their team this year. Once again, Scott Frost, 15 and 29 hasn't made a bowl game in four years Nebraska didn't make a bowl game the, the year prior to when Scott Frost came to Lincoln so it's been five years in a row Nebraska has not made a bowl game they've got Casey Thompson as their quarterback this year he's recovering from a surgery on his thumb they get their one vote I think it was Brett McMurphy um, that's what people are saying uh, who voted for them. I, can, I have not confirmed that. Nebraska gets a vote. Uh, if there's a party in Lincoln. Um, South Carolina, uh, two votes. Great quarterback. Uh, I agree with that. UCLA going to have a good year this year. Air Force is getting a lot of hype. North Carolina, I do not have them... Uh, I think they're going to take a huge step back this year. Florida got them finishing 6-6. Six and six. They get 14 votes. Kansas State. You know, people like to pick their chaos team. The team that can completely ruin other teams' uh, season. A team that could spike up and challenge for the conference championship. Even possibly a long shot to make it to the college football playoffs. I see people picking Kansas State a lot. I think that all has to do with their quarterback, Adrian Martinez. A great talent, great athlete, has had some arm in, uh, arm injury to so shoulder, labrum, um, makes a lot of mistakes at the end of the game. People are voting on them. They got 14 votes. They're a super wild card this year. Look at this. Auburn, 15 votes. I got them coming dead last in the SEC. Um, I don't think Harson makes this. Through, the coach Harson makes it through the whole season. I think he gets fired probably six weeks in. Toxic environment. I this this right here, Auburn, 15 votes. That's uh, sorry to say, but that's extreme SEC bias. Mississippi State, 15 votes. Mississippi State's going to have a much better year than the Auburn Tigers with Mike Leach. Purdue, 17 votes. Aiden O'Connell is the best quarterback in the Big Ten West. I've got them. I haven't done my Big Ten West predictions yet, but I've got Purdue, one of the four teams that can win the Big Ten West very easily. Uh, Purdue, 17 votes. I think the voters got that right. My Minnesota Golden Gophers row the boat, 31 votes. That's about basically where I thought the voters would have them. 
Fresno State, LSU, 55 again. LSU, I've got them coming in sixth place. Auburn, seventh place in the division and the, the SEC. I think it's going to be a very tough year for Brian Kelly. I see Brennan, uh, quarterback, um, saw a report that he has quit football. Again, too many votes here for LSU. Penn State, 160 votes in the others receiving votes category. I think that's about right. Uh, Penn State Nittany Lions fans there and Happy Valley ex uh, expect their team to be ranked in the top 25 in the preseason. A lot of questions to mark, mark around the quarterback, Sean Clifford. Hopefully that O-line is better. For whatever reason, Penn State and FSU, Florida State can't seem to establish an offensive line, offensive line identity. They got a great secondary, 160 votes. They start the season September 1st, Thursday night at Purdue. That game is going to tell us a whole lot of what's going to happen. Um, I think um, I'm going to be picking Purdue in that game. I think Penn State is a three-point favorite. So, uh, of course, after week one, right, uh, this AP poll just completely changes but Penn State, 160 votes, almost getting to the top 25. Iowa, 160, 163. Do not agree with this at all. Um, again, I haven't done my Big Ten West predictions, haven't published it. Don't see Iowa repeating. Last year, they won the Big, the Big Ten West, creating a lot of turnovers. Um, the special teams, somehow they defeated my Gophers. If you look at the box score, how did Iowa win that game? It still breaks my heart. Don't see Iowa repeating. I think they're going to fall, fall fast early in this 2022 season. Texas, 164 votes. I have to applaud. I have to applaud the AP voters for not having Texas in the top 25 to begin the season. Uh, they've, they've had a bad week, suffered some injuries this, this week in camp. Texas, 164 votes. That's about where I would have had them there in about the 27th spot. Tennessee, 180 votes. They The voters have a little bit of love for them, but not as much love as I have for them this year. They should be in the top 25, and basically they are. Once you look at, um, if you look up here, Wake Forest, they have the 22 spot. They lost their great quarterback, Sam Hartman, to an undisclosed illness. Um, don't know when he's going to be coming back, if he's going to be coming back at all. Again, again, we pray for Sam Hartman. Hopefully, uh, we're praying for his long-term health. This, the votes came in before that, before that, uh, the report on Sam Hartman. So basically, you know, Wake Forest would not be in the top 25 no longer. So consider Tennessee a top 25 team, the 25th team. And that's, I think that's fair. I would have them, of course, higher. I probably would have them uh, 19 or 18, to be honest with you. Um, so let's get to the top 25. BYU 25, that's a perfect spot for them. They're going to have a good season this year. Again, I haven't done my prediction on them. Houston, number 24. I've got them winning the AAC. Cincinnati, Houston, UCF. Going to be a big battle for first place in the AAC this year. The Houston Cougars. Uh, I would have them ahead of Cincinnati. Even though Cincinnati went to the college football playoffs last year, they lost their quarterback. Houston's got their quarterback coming back. Again, I will get into that in the prediction segment of AAC later on this week. Wake Forest. Uh, again, they lose Sam Hartman. Not going to be in the top 25 this year, unfortunately, for the, for the Deacons. Great year last year. Won't be able to repeat it without Sam Hartman. Ole Miss, 21. That's where I would have them. Um, I think that's the perfect spot for them. Lane Kiffin's got his team. I think they're not going to have the, uh, the record like they did last year. Um, of course, they're going to miss their quarterback, Matt Carroll, but they've got some other people in there, and I think 
I think uh, they, they're going to be as good as they were last year, but not have the type of record, if that makes any sense. Kentucky, number 20, I would have them 17 or 16. Stoops, Will Levis, quarterback, uh, got, I would have them a little bit higher. So some of these SEC teams, I would have them ranked higher. I would have voted them higher. Arkansas, uh, probably in the right spot. Jefferson, the quarterback, beautiful culture there. They're going to have a good year this year. Wisconsin, number 18, no way. Uh, very down on Wisconsin this year. Of course, now, I'm a Gopher fan, so there's a heavy bias. I'm trying to eliminate the bias. But Wisconsin's quarterback, Graham Mertz, there's reports that he's gotten all... You know, he's put on 10 pounds of muscle. He's ready to go. Well, the muscle, his body, his athletic ability was never the issue. It was the thing between the ears. Uh, he does not process the field good at all. I, he's, I don't see Wisconsin Badgers yet again winning the Big Ten West division this year. Braylon Allen, the great running back, yeah, 19 years old, I guess he is now, finally, or 18, whatever, he, I, whoever... Doesn't matter how old he is, but they kept repeating it last year. Big, strong, great running back. Had a little bit of ankle injury at the end of last year. The Gophers were able to take advantage of that and beat him. The Wisconsin Badgers, I do not have them in the top 25. So I would have these uh, SEC teams all in front of Wisconsin. I would have Cincinnati, Houston all in front of Wisconsin. I would have Tennessee in front of Wisconsin. This is, to me, a big... Uh, big mistake by the voters. I do believe the coaches poll. Well, I might have this wrong, but I do believe the coaches poll did not have Wisconsin in the top twenty-five. I'll have to take take a look at that. Pittsburgh seventeen. I got them coming uh, second place in their AAC, eight their ACC division, and I think that's about right. Um, I got Miami, Florida winning the division. They got that them 16. I think that's about right. Um, I agree with the voters on, on that. This one, I have a major disagreement with the AP voters. The Michigan State Spartans. I've got them coming in third in the division. But I have them playing great football this year. I would have them all the way up to about the 11th spot. Mel Tucker, the underrated quarterback. Yeah, I think that's a travesty. As much as a travesty there can be in the preseason poll of the AP poll, but we're having fun here. We're breaking it down. Michigan State Spartans. That's the fun of college sp uh, football. Michigan State, uh, Michigan State Spartans would have them about 11th. USC. That's about the right spot for them. Quarterback Williams, Lincoln Riley coming in his first year. I uh, think they're going to have a really good year. Don't have them win in the pack. I have Utah, which you're going to see later in the poll. I think this is the right spot for them. North Carolina State, I'm very happy that they've got the 13th spot. I've got them winning the ACC in a surprise. I've got them beating Clemson in Clemson. Uh, love their quarterback, Leary. Beautiful in the red zone, can make all the decisions needed, can put the ball in a tight window in the end zone, can make a play with his legs. North Carolina State's going to have a good defense. Coach is great, Doran. They're all ready to go. North Carolina State Wolfpack got them winning the ACC championship. 13th spot is the correct spot. Oklahoma State, 12. I got real no problems with that. Um, You know, my, my, my three teams are Oklahoma, Baylor, and Oklahoma State in the Big 12. I got Baylor winning the Big 12, uh, again, repeating. And they're all, in the, you know, 9, 10, 12. That's all good. Oregon, I would have them slip back a little bit. Um, this would be my Michigan State Spartan spot. Oregon, uh, Bo Nix, the quarterback. Is he going to win the quarterback's job? I don't. I think they're going to be disappointed in Bo Nix this year in Oregon. As you can tell, I say, I say Oregon correctly about 40% of the time. Hopefully in a few weeks from now, Oregon will be uh, pronunciated by me correctly 100% of the time. But we'll see about that. Oregon, slipping back to about number 15. 
Baylor, number 10. That's fine. Of course, I would have them switch spots with Oklahoma. Oklahoma, Baylor, going to be awfully good teams this year once again. Michigan, number eight, a travesty. To me, this makes absolutely no sense. Now, the votes, if you can look at this, there's not that big a difference. But Clemson shouldn't be four. Michigan should not be eight. They should be sw uh, switched, right? They should be flipped. Yes, Michigan lost a couple of the great defensive ends to the NFL. They've got a quarterback battle, but it's a quarterback of riches. I like Cade McNamara. Um, J.J. McCarthy is going to take over at some point this year. I think their defense is going to be very good again. I love their running backs, Edwards and Corum. Corum, the scat back. Corum getting the ball uh, passed to him out of the backfield. Edwards, they're highly recruited back. Now he's going to get the rock. Michigan, I would have them number four. Don't see why they're not up there. They have a weak, very weak schedule. I know you can't put that in your voting calculations right now, but they were in the college football playoffs last year. I have them, and many people have them predicted to go back there next year. They got eight games at Ann Arbor. A weak schedule. Don't know how they got to that weak schedule, but they're going to win every game except for that last game against Ohio State in the Big Ten Conference. Michigan should be number four, but you know, they're going to get to number four in a few weeks anyway. So, Utah, number seven, perfect spot for them. I got them winning the pack. I'll be talking about them later this week. The U Utah Utes at number seven. Texas A&M, number six. Uh, I would have them flipped with Notre Dame. I do have questions about Texas A&M. I do have questions about Jimbo Fisher. They got to make some offensive explosive plays on, on offense, get the ball downfield. They got to develop their wide receivers. I do have questions, but their defense is going to be stout. A whole lot of talent, at Texas A&M. So I would have them flipped. I would have Notre Dame number six. The Fighting Irish just named their quarterback for the year. New coach, new spirit. I think their team is tighter than ever. The culture is being built. Notre Dame's going to have some great success here this year and the coming years. I've got them number six. And of course, here I got Clemson all the way to eight. Uh, not believing Clemson this year. They're not going to win the ACC for the second year in a row. Georgia, Ohio State, Alabama. Can't go wrong with that. I've got Alabama number one. I got Ohio State Buckeyes number two. And I got the Georgia Bulldogs, defending national champions, number three. So, some travesties here. Miscarriage of justice in the AP poll. Pretty much centered around Michigan. Michigan State. Those two should be much higher in the poll. Wisconsin should not be in the top 25. Kentucky, I believe, should be higher, and I, I believe Tennessee should be way higher, about 19 themselves. So, uh, but overall, yeah, they missed on a few. They got a few, in my opinion. They kept Texas out of the top 25. That's a good thing. We'll be going over the AP poll every week during the season, of course. Um, the conference races, we're going to be going over the games, uh, I'll be making my predictions. And please leave your comments on the uh, below this video. I want to know what you think about this, about this first AP preseason poll. I know we're not supposed to take it real seriously, but we want to have some fun with it today. So leave your comments. And please, if you like the content, please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for so much for your support here in the first week of our channel. Until next time, from all of us at Peek Around the Corner to all of you, please, you all take care of each other. Thank you.